after looking at all those snake bite kits from Ian Davies, I thought we should show you how first aid is done in Australia. Get the bite victim to lay down. Let's say she got bitten right here. I would apply the bandage just above there. It's a compression bandage. It is not a tourniquet. We're just trying to stop the lymphatic system. I put a little bit of extra around the wrist here to help her keep her wrist still. You could even splint this if you like. Taking it down to the fingers. Again, I'm going to make it so it's comfortable for her to keep her hand still. Less movement, the better. And we leave the fingertips showing just to make sure that they are the right colour. Now the second bandage up the top here, again going close to the torso and winding down, pushing the venom away from the torso. Now we've got two bandages with a little tiny gap between the two. When she goes to hospital they can unwrap the bandage which is close to the bite site. They can take a swab which is part of hospital protocol. But they can also leave the above bandage on while they do this so the venom is not spreading through the rest of the body. Now it's good to apply a splint. If a bite on the leg, splint the whole leg. If on the arm, maybe from the elbow to the fingers then put in a sling would be good. That's how the first aid for snake bite is done in Australia. I say that's because it's the lapids will put in a neurotoxin which will travel through the lymphatic system and we'll just try and compress the lymphatic system. The whole bandage thing is half the first aid, the other half is to keep still. You then contact a hospital, a doctor, or you don't uh, get the patient to move, you get the person to stay still. It's best for them to be carried out and carried to hospital as best they move as little as possible. So it's keeping still and it's compressing the lymphatic system. That will slow down the spread of the poison. In other countries, uh, say America, where there's not that many lapids, uh, you got a completely different type of first aid, uh, which might be back to the cut and suck if uh, Walmart uh, first aid kits are going to go by. Really, you should probably just ask somebody in America what to do. In fact, if you know what to do with uh, snake bite for an American copperhead or rattlesnake, just, just drop a comment in the comment section here and let us know. How's that? Done.